Hi guys, in this video we are going to build a germanium fast pedal. This guitar effect uses the classic circuit, adding two trimmer resistors to adjust the bias point to the perfect value. It also uses Russian germanium transistors to red boards for point-to-point -point soldering and of course all the bill of materials, schematic and a PDF document with detailed information and images are also available. This kit includes all the parts in a couple of bags, so you have all the components organized and you also have the PCB and some other bits to finish the pedal. The first step is to solder the turret boards. You have 10 of them and it's quite simple. Just put them through the hole, make sure that they go straight. And the most important thing is to solder just the side of the turret. It is a hollow component, so a leg of the resistor goes through the center of the turret, so make sure that you just solder the side of it. If accidentally you put too much solder and you block it, don't worry, later on you can just heat it up with the soldering iron and the leg of the resistor will go through it. The next thing to do is to solder the small components. Basically bend the legs of the resistor and the diode, put them through the holes, Make sure that you are using the right polarity for the diode and the electrolytic cap. Solder the legs. And once all is soldered, cut the legs. You want to cut the legs as close as possible to the PCB. It's quite important because you will need this space. After that, we are going to solder the wires that connect the boards between them. You can use the white flat cable or any normal cable you can find. It's good if you can bend the cable to the final shape. It will make everything easier. I normally use a screwdriver or a pen or any tool. Once it's bent, it goes perfect into the holes. And as usual, you solder them and you cut the excess of the leg. The next step is to solder the big components. They are pretty simple, but you have to make sure that they go straight. So the best idea is to solder one of the pins, check it, and once you are 100% sure that they go straight into the board and it's not leaning to one of the sides, finish the soldering. For the audio jacks, it's quite important that once you have soldered the pin, cut the excess of the leg. This two millimeter leg is not good, so it's better if you just cut it out. For the 9 volt battery connector, just measure 2 inches or 5 mm, cut it, peel it, and solder it. The black wire goes to ground and the red wire goes to 9 volts. The LED will be soldered at the end of the build, so at this point we just want to put them in place to see if it works. Put the longer lead through the upper hole and it will stay in place. Now we are ready to check the pedal. Put a 9 volt battery, you will also need the input jack and as you press the foot switch you will see that the LED goes on and off. This will prove that so far everything is going fine. So now we are ready to start soldering the audio components on the top side of the PCB. The next step is to set the trimmer resistors to a good value, so you will have a nice bias in the circuit. Using a digital multimeter, measure the resistance between pins 1 and 2 and set the trimmer 1 to 33Ks. And the trimmer 2 to 8.2K. Don't worry if they are not perfect, because you will need to readjust the value at the end of the build. And again, solder the pins and cut the legs. Continuing, we are going to solder the components on the turrets. The best idea is to use a marker so you know exactly where to bend the leg of the resistors or the caps. Doing that, they will go perfectly square into the turrets and they will look neat. And now it's time to completely solder the turrets to the PCB. Take care because if they go too hot, they can unsolder, so make sure that they are in place. We cut this little leg to the potentiometer and we make sure that we put the 1K pot next to the 1K holes and the 500K potentiometer next to the 500K holes. We follow the same strategy as we did with the foot switch. 
we solder one pin, we make sure that it's straight and nice, and then we solder the two other pins. The next step is to solder the germanium transistors. If you have different gains, it's better to use the highest gain for Q2 and the lowest gain for Q1. They have a dot to indicate polarity and you just need to follow the same dot on the PCB. They have to be close but not touching. And this little spring will connect the PCB to the chassis to improve the noise rejection. To solder it, take care not to touch any of the other paths next to it, so make sure that they have room between the spring and the potentiometers. Time for testing and measurements. Connecting the battery, the input jack, measure the voltage between the spring and the test points. Test point 1 should be between minus 0.5 and minus 0.7 volts and the test point 2 should be around minus 4.5 volts. You can connect it now to your amplifier and make sure that it sounds good. And now that we have finished the electronics, we are ready to prepare the enclosure. You can use a pre-drill box or drill your own downloading the stencil from the website. Use a cutter to separate the two halves of the sticker. Peel it, make sure that it's in the center and just stick it out. Use a cutter to remove the sticker from the LED and the foot switch. Nothing special with the metal LED holder, just put it in place and use the nut. This is the plastic insulator that will protect the electronics from the enclosure. It's quite important so if in the future you kick or abuse the pedal, it will make sure that everything stays fine. Just cut it following the stencil and use the double side tape to stick it to the box. And now it's time to break this beautiful PCB. There are these little bridges that you need to break. It's better if you can scratch them with a cutter, so they will break easier. You can use your bare hands, just making sure that you don't squeeze any important component and the PCB will break. You can also use a little pair of pliers to break them and make sure that you remove all these little pieces. We present the LED at the right side of the PCB, but again, don't solder it yet. Normally I bend one of the legs so it stays in place. But now is the time to box the electronics. Take your time and be patient because this task takes some minutes. Normally I align the LED and the foot switch and then I try to put the jacks into the holes. Again, this process takes some time and you have to be patient. The best tip I can give you is to try to put the four elements, the foot switch, the LED and the two jacks at the same time through the holes, not just to put one into the hole and trying to force the other three. You can use some small tools like a small players to help you out putting the things into holes. The top side of the board is much easier. You just need to put the potentiometers into the holes and just compress a little the spring so everything goes in place. Once you have placed everything, make sure that everything's aligned and everything looks square and you can start putting the nuts. The nuts have to be tight and firm, and if you are using a tool to do it, make sure that you don't over tighten them, because there is no point doing that and you can even break the electronics. Reset the potentiometers to zero position and align the knobs to the same point. We are almost finishing and now it's time to do the LED. Make sure that it's at the right place and just solder and cut it. Remember the stickers, so you have to finish the job and put the two last stickers, the volume and fuzz, below the knobs. And this is the last insulator. It has to cover the electronics, not the battery, so peel the double side tape and place it to cover the electronics and let the battery free. We hope you like it and thanks for watching.